welcome back to audio freak and today's gonna be a short video i'm just gonna show you guys how to export something um i got a comment saying that uh sometimes when they export it uh distorts and sounds terrible so here's a quick pointer on how to export out of logic pro once you got your session done you're gonna hit go to the uh mixer view and you're gonna monitor this stereo output right here and you're gonna make sure it's not clipping. Alright, so that one's clipping, right? So we're just gonna cut that. We're gonna select all the tracks in the window. And then we're just gonna bring them down. Bloop, 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 bloop. And we'll go to back to the loudest part. It's not clipping, but let's give a little bit more headroom. And if you really want to see the thing, multimeter, there you go. So this is. You could set where you want to uh, hear it at, so like negative 14. And let's put that at the very end to monitor what we're doing in our stereo channel. We'll bring it. Put a little EQ on there, right? Thing drastic. A compressor, put a compressor on there. So I got this set up with a side chain of a high pass filter. So everything above 440 hertz, that's what's going to start compressing. And I'm using the vintage VCA, which is modeled after the SSL bus compressor. And bloop, 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 bloop. these are the settings that I'm using. Right. And then a limiter. I'm using the Logic Pro's adaptive limiter. So, and after you get the levels right on there, you go to bounce. Well, you, you know, you gotta set how long you want your thing to be, your session to be, and bounce, project session, and this is how I do mine. I do PCM, wave, 24-bit, 48, um, if I'm uh, planning on uploading to YouTube, and uh, I turn off the normalize, interleave, dithering, none, uh, MP3 also, uh, 320 and 160 in mono, 320 in stereo, and uh, use best encoding, filter frequencies below 10 hertz, and that's that. Make sure the normalize is off, and then you hit OK, and then it should export at those formats, wherever you specify you want it exported at, and it should be good. Um, you shouldn't have no more distortion problems or anything like that. Um, let me know in the comments if this helped you guys out. Peace.